often hear from our guests is they come in and their blood pressure goes down. They feel calm, they feel relaxed. It was the best night of sleep they've had in months. So there's something special happening here and I think it's boiling down to this interaction of the, the harmonious architecture of the building it's talking to each person's heart. So it's a, it happens in a very subtle level. And uh, when you take that in combination with all the special pieces of artwork, and everything placed in its divine spot, one is just experiencing a deep sense of harmony. is from all over my world experience as I traveled around the world and, and acquired things. And what's interesting here about the art is the art chooses where it wants to go. Wow, that's fascinating. And when I listen to what the art, where the art wants to go, that special magic unfolds for the guest. special part, it's not just the wine, it's how we grow the grapes, how we tend to the fields, and how we use biodynamic farming as a big part of that. But also, I use my experience in architecture and design into every aspect of the bottle, so that what's happening is this harmony being infused into the Allegretto wine. Well, we're a Mediterranean-based restaurant, as you know, as being a fan of ours, and we appreciate all the time that you spend with us. Uh, you know, fresh, fresh fish for dinner. Chef brings in salmon generally every other day. Uh, all of our beef is prime, fantastic. Filet mignon, if you haven't had one yet, it's definitely a must try. Uh, we have two great sous chefs in the kitchen, Ben Drejos and Rob Laura, and they head the kitchen up and do a fantastic job. For me, it's all about the connection, and certainly local community. We have uh, 171 rooms, so we have a lot of internal locals. Every night, we get more locals. Uh, but really, it's the community and involving ourselves in the community. Uh, I'm, maybe on a separate note, I'm involved with a, uh, an organization called the Chien de Rutisseres, and I am the Bailly, or the president for that organization. Oh, wow. I'm following in the footsteps of Daniel Dow, Gary Eberly, Justin Baldwin. Uh, it's a started the Shen started in 12, 1200s, and then was reintroduced in New York in 1950s. So it's something I've been able to carry on that tradition, and it's about hospitality. It's about great food, beverage, wine, camaraderie. So I feel that we pull all of that together in addition to going outside and giving back to the community. That's what we're really all about, is really uh, embracing the guests.